All right, today we've got the HAZ K870T Bluetooth wireless mechanical keyboard. And you can see we have several other keyboards here along with it. So this one's uh, IKVC, also a wireless keyboard. You can see these two are very similar keyboards in terms of their layouts. If you didn't know any different, they could be identical. You know, very similar layouts, a little bit of difference here, for example. Uh, this HS has, you know, obviously a scroll wheel here, and this IKPC doesn't have any uh, USB ports, so you can't use it in wired mode. It can only be used in wireless mode. Now, here I have an even smaller keyboard. This one is a Skyloon SK61, uh, and this one's like a 60% keyboard. You can see it just doesn't have this, this right-hand pad here. This one has been one of my favorites to use from a typing perspective. But the main problem with this keyboard is uh, you can see in this cluster here, there's no dedicated up down arrow keys. There's no uh, home page up, page down, delete end navigation keys. So it's very problematic if you're doing, you know, actual work on a keyboard, um, like you're programming or you're actually trying to write documents because it's hard to move around in your document when you have to hit this FN key all the time. And you kind of have to reprogram your brain to uh, to use it, but it's a really great keyboard. I really love the feel of it, and it's really compact, too. So let's talk about this AJAZ. So I've been using this AJAZ for about, um, you know, two weeks now, and I have to say I really, really dig it. Um, the reason is simple, is that, you know, as much as I love this uh, Skyloom keyboard here, um, this keyboard has all the keys that I actually need to navigate. I program every day, so it's really great to have these keys back. Um, I also really just love the functionality. And in my experience, like, you know, this one's a wireless keyboard as well, you know, Bluetooth as well. And this one's a wireless keyboard as well. The difference is this is 2.4 gigahertz with a little dongle. Um, what I found is that this is the only keyboard that doesn't seem to have issues with the connectivity with uh, the wireless connectivity. I have it in a wired mode now, uh, mostly because it keeps it charged, but with the lights off in wireless mode, it lasted a whole day, no problems. Um, with the lights on, I think it probably lasts about a day, which is the same same as the uh, Skyloon SK61. Um, now this keyboard has a number of really great features in my opinion. Um, and then we'll also talk about some of the problems with this keyboard as well. So number one, uh, it's, it gives you a lot of really interesting lighting modes right out of the box. And you can see here, if you hit FN and uh, this cluster of keys here, you have many different different options on each mode. So for example, M1, this is M2. Um, you have different options here, M3, M4, M5. Some of these, uh, you know, change it to, um, like M4, this is one where the lights react to your typing. You can turn on the light intensity, you can turn it down. There's lots of different modes and different options depending on what you're going for. You can turn it completely off for more professional use in an office setting. I usually leave it on M2 because it looks pleasing. Um, yeah, and it comes with a bunch of keycaps that you can swap out. So for example, this space bar comes with keycaps so that you can split it into two, which you know this keyboard also has that capability, but it doesn't include the keycaps for you, okay? So before we go into doing the typing so you can hear it, um, I wanna talk about some of the problems with this keyboard. So in using this keyboard, there's really two problems that I've run into. One is that this port back here is uh, really tricky to get this uh, USB-C plug into. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It's just really difficult to use for some reason because of the extremely tight tolerance you can see here. Uh, on this little plastic hole. I wish they would have just made it bigger or move the port out a little bit just to make it so you can use other types of USB-C cables because quite honestly, it's very difficult even to put the one that they gave you into here, okay? Um, the other problem that I've had with this keyboard is that it's not quite as nice as this one is when you're connecting it back to, uh, you know, when you're switching between wireless and wired mode. Even if you're wireless and you, uh, you know, turn it off and you turn it back on, um, I've had some issues with it connecting instantly, whereas this keyboard always just connects instantly. You don't really have to do anything. So this keyboard doesn't always connect. You kind of have to play around with it. I've had to repair it to get it to connect. And it's, uh, you know, that can be a little bit frustrating and annoying. 
but if you leave it in wired mode the whole time, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, it's just going to work when you when you turn it on. Uh, actually, even in Bluetooth mode, you know, if you just leave it there, it's going to be fine. But if you switch between the two modes, um, when you go back to Bluetooth, you know, sometimes it's going to not want to connect immediately. Okay, but once it's connected, it's really good. It doesn't drop. It doesn't, uh, you know, sometimes with these other wireless keyboards I've had, it's going to kind of repeatedly hit extra characters for no reason, even if you're not touching the keys. Uh, but I haven't had this problem with this keyboard, so it's been really great. Okay, so now we're going to do a quick, uh, you know, typing test just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay. So that was about 97 words per minute. Um, I like the feel, I like the sound, you know, in an office setting, these blue switches might be a little bit too, uh, too onerous. Um, you know, if you're in an office setting with other people, you might want to go with brown type switches, just a little bit quieter. Uh, but otherwise this is an excellent keyboard. Love the scroll wheel, love the colors, um, love having the extra keys compared to the 60% keyboards. And it's really not that much bigger. The wireless connectivity is really great. Uh, overall, really functional, really great keyboard. So, and a really great price compared to this IKBC, uh, which I'm gonna do another video for. Um, this is a much, much better keyboard. So you can